should run from the police, man. You profile me because you look me dead in the face and I got a ticket for driving while black. You pulled me over because you saw a black face in this car. Just released body camera video showing State Representative John Thompson accusing a St. Paul uh, police sergeant of racial profiling in a traffic stop on July 4th. There's the law enforcement case and a separate political case over where Thompson was living when he was elected to office. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Amy Hockert. St. Paul Police releasing that video today, showing Thompson getting ticketed for driving after suspension, and then, as you saw, making those racial profiling allegations. Political reporter Theo Keith picks up the story from there. Theo? Well, Amy, this was the traffic stop where Thompson gave a Wisconsin driver's license that he renewed last November using a Wisconsin address, the same month that he was elected to the Minnesota legislature. That issue came up less than 30 seconds into that July 4th traffic stop. Why such a hurry? I don't, I don't think I took off like a bad out of here. I just, I just drove off. Thank you. Do you got your prison insurance with you? I do. Uh, it's in my phone. All right. I'm actually the current state representative in this district right here, man. Does that make me good? You got a Wisconsin license? Yeah, I got a Wisconsin license. I'm state representative John Thompson. Okay. I'll be right back. After 14 minutes in his squad car, Sergeant Peter Crum returns with a ticket for driving after suspension. Thompson seems unaware his driving privileges had been suspended before he accuses the sergeant of racial profiling. Hey, sorry, sorry, I took a little long. So, so there's your license Thank to my card. You're suspended in Minnesota? No. That's what the computer says. If it's wrong, you have to deal with the Thank DBS. You. Thank you. So Why did you pull me over again? Uh, no front plate? Thanks. And then the way you Thanks. took off from man, the light back there. I'm too old to run from the police, man. You profiled me because you looked me dead in the face and I got a ticket for driving while black. You pulled me over because you saw a black face in this car, brother. And you, and I went, there's no way in here I'm taking off with you behind me. You looked at me in this car. You looked in this car and busted. You turned and got behind my car. It's and on, that's the reason why you... I know. I know. But what, what I'm saying is what you're doing is wrong to black men. And you need to stop that. Thank you so much. But this ticket means nothing to me. No, no, no. no. I'm going to always have a great day. What I'm saying is you will stop racially profiling black men in their cars, sir. In a Monday night statement, Thompson said he told the sergeant he was a state lawmaker out of, quote, the desire to be treated with respect and to be able to drive away from this interaction safely. In that statement, hours before the video's release, Thompson said people wouldn't see Crum, quote, do anything that isn't by the book, but the issue is we need to rewrite the book. Thompson said he had no reason to believe the sergeant has any hate toward me specifically. St. Paul police said the first few seconds of this interaction with Thompson had video but no audio because the body camera was buffering and a later gap in sound was redacted because over the police scanner in Crum's squad car, there was information about an unrelated kidnapping case. Now, there's a whole separate issue over John Thompson's residency, and that has landed in the lap of House Speaker Melissa Hortman. We don't know where Thompson was living when he was elected to office because the form that he used with the Secretary of State's office is not public. The Secretary of State says he doesn't have the power to investigate. Hortman says she may investigate. She is meeting with her lawyer on Friday to determine the next steps. Now, we were here at the Hennepin County Government Center because Thompson is on trial in a separate misdemeanor obstructing justice case. We were hoping to talk with the representative about all of these issues, but at the end of jury selection today in his trial, he took a different stairwell down to the ground floor to avoid us. We later saw him walking across the street. I asked his attorney why the representative was avoiding us. He said that Thompson's focus right now is on his criminal trial and not on answering our questions about this residency issue. Obviously, much more to come in this story.